It's now time for Trivia Tracks with yours truly, Price Robertson. This edition of Trivia Tracks is brought to you by ProMed Ambulance Services, care you can count on, and Beth Smith at Edward Jones. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. He was the founder of CMT, as in country music television. Glenn D. Daniels went from DJing via local radio to creating one of the most watched cable channels in the country. Born on this day in 1936, Glenn Dean Daniels grew up in El Dorado, just an hour from here in Camden. He began his lifelong career in radio at the age of 14. While in high school, he formed his first gospel quartet, who performed all over the state of Arkansas and won a talent contest that landed them on the Grand Ole Opry in Nashville. By the age of 25, Glenn was married and was soon offered a job in Shreveport, Louisiana. He chose to stay there a while before moving to Longview, Texas. There, he formed another gospel quartet, this one named the Texas. During his stint with KBUC-FM in San Antonio, he was voted the number one country disc jockey for three years in a row. His career radio lasted 23 years, primarily in Texas, where he went by the nickname Big Daddy for most of his career. After that, he sang with yet another gospel quartet, the Daltons. He also promoted concerts and ran an advertising agency, Mark 7 Productions, not to be confused with the production company run by Jack Webb of Dragnet fame. In the early 70s, Daniels launched his first nationally syndicated gospel music show, Camp Meeting USA, which aired in over 60 markets. After moving his family to Dothan, Alabama in 1975, Glenn, his son Dean, and daughter Debbie hosted various country and gospel music programs on WDHN-TV. By 1977, the family had moved again, this time to Hendersonville, Tennessee. Just 21 minutes from Nashville, where Glenn formed Video World Productions, which produced hundreds of country and gospel shows for cable and broadcast syndication, including America Sings for PBS and Sing Out America for the CBN Network, the forerunner of the Family Channel, now Freeform. On March 5, 1983, Glenn Daniels launched Country Music Television, beating its competitor, the Nashville Network, by only two days. The initialism was originally CMTV, but a complaint from MTV forced Daniels and Brass to drop the letter V. Daniels later handed control of the network to DJ Stan Hitchcock, who in turn sold CMT to Gaylord Entertainment and Group W Communications at the outset of 1991. Today, the network is owned by Paramount Media Networks. Daniels then began production of new Sing Out America broadcasts on the Axe Network, short for American Christian Television Service, and what is today the Hallmark Channel. He also revived his That Good Old Gospel Music program that he co-hosted with his son Dean in Dothan, Alabama. On May 16, 1992, Glenn D. Daniels died of kidney failure at the age of 56. Till next time, I'm Price Robertson. Amazed by today's trivia? Then join me for Trivia Tracks weekdays at 645 on Everybody's Country, Y95.